A clinical trial is a very highly structured, controlled test to see how new technologies are functioning and to show that they're safe. Every single medication that you use today or a device, whether it's an intraocular lens or it is something that goes into a hip replacement, has had to go through this process where the FDA and the companies that are developing it uh, design studies that will show that the new device works and that it's safe for patients to be involved with. In our practice, we have a wide variety of clinical trials because we treat a wide variety of clinical conditions. Some of the most important ones would be glaucoma, cataract, diabetic retinopathies, macular degeneration, dry eye. Currently, we have several glaucoma studies, and these involve new medications. They also involve new devices and procedures that can give long-term control of eye pressure and make a person less dependent on eye drops. People who can be involved in clinical trials typically have to meet a set of rigorous criteria. They not only have to have the condition that's being treated, they have to be at a point where it justifies intervention. They also have to be at a point where it's not so advanced that we're taking an inordinate risk by doing something that's new. So anyone who has reasonably healthy eyes but has a condition such as glaucoma or macular degeneration or cataracts, they are likely to be a candidate as long as they don't have any other conditions that would prevent them from being part of the trial. Keep in mind that when we do a clinical trial, there's a very careful selection to be able to show the efficacy of the device. It's a lot more rigorous than when it goes out into the general population. There are many people who eventually will be able to receive these things, but they may not qualify at the time of the clinical trial. People who get involved in clinical trials in today's world get extra care. They get extra TLC, if you will, to make sure that everything is being done just right. These are highly organized uh, protocols that we follow exactly. Of course, we adapt when we need to for the safety and comfort of the patient, but in general, we, do, we have a very rigorous, robust protocol that we follow. They will get many of the tests that they normally would need anyway. Well, there are lots of reasons to want to participate in a clinical trial. Number one, clinical trials are exciting. Through the clinical trials, you get access today for tomorrow's technologies. The people who are in a clinical trial, by the time they, this device gets into the trial, it's been tested on animals, it's been tested on other people. It's, we know a lot about it already. And the people who get this may get it three to five years ahead of time before it's generally available to other people. Some of these new technologies are better than what we currently have, and that's better for your care.